as we've seen in previous examples, the relationship between latency and throughput is, is highly related. If we look at the chart below, we see that a 64 kilobyte buffer, a buffer that isn't able to grow with the av availability of TCP window scaling, severely impacts our performance. We can see that performance is very high when we have a short latency. As latency increases and the buffer is not able to grow, performance is not able to grow as well, and it remains very, very low. Adjusting this on our enterprise firewall gives us a different result. We can look at the output of the tool below and see that throughput has returned to an acceptable level. We still see retransmissions, but this may be related to other problems. The takeaway here is that performance was being severely impacted by this setting. We can look at a graph that illustrates network performance. This shows the data rates before and after the change that we made to the network. As you can see, there was a lot of pent-up demand that was not being met because of this setting on the enterprise firewall. Data rates returned to expected levels after this change was implemented. We can contrast this with performance to a resource that's located in our science DMZ that doesn't traverse the firewall data plane. Looking at the results of one of these tool tests, we can see that throughput is very high, there are no retransmissions, and in this case, window scaling was being respected. To summarize, Persona is very valuable for finding performance problems. It's particularly valuable when you're able to deploy one within your enterprise network as well as one within your science DMZ. Enterprise level protections may impact scientific use, and it's important to be able to characterize these, measure these, and impart changes to improve your scientific outcomes.